Hot FM. Hot FM proudly supports the Benidorm enthusiasts and your favorite YouTube channel, Benidorm Stuff. Hi guys, the Benidorm Enthusiast here with Benidorm Stuff YouTube channel, bringing you another quick video update to explain changes to travel requirements for entry to Spain which have just come into effect. Since December, Spain has only allowed entry to tourists from outside the EU if they are fully vaccinated. The ban on the unvaccinated included everybody aged 12 and above. This has meant that thousands of families have had to cancel their holidays, being that most of the youngsters in the UK are not fully vaccinated with the two jabs. The rules for teenagers have now been relaxed. An alternative has been provided for the 12 to 17 age group to enter Spain. Teenagers can now enter with a negative test, a PCR test done within 72 hours of arriving in Spain if they're not fully vaccinated. Under 12s don't need to provide any kind of COVID documentation to enter Spain. As I mentioned in a recent video, there was a lot of pressure from the tourism industry to make these changes to allow families to travel. And finally, the government have eased the restrictions for youngsters. This is great news for the upcoming school holidays. I do think it's too late for the February half term, but it opens things up for Easter and gives British families the option to come to Benidorm. It's also a sign that Spain are ready to start opening up fully. All UK tourists aged 18 and above must still be fully vaccinated to enter Spain as it stands, but I'm sure over the coming weeks we will only see more relaxations on the entry requirements as we move forward with the situation. Everybody coming into Spain still has to complete the passenger locator form. It's another hurdle that has been putting people off, especially the older generation, some of whom don't have smartphones or even email addresses. Once you've done the form once, I don't think it's that difficult to be honest. But it is daunting and a little stressful for those doing it for the first time. Take your time with it and you'll be fine. You also have to complete the locator form going back to the UK. I did see in the news the other day the UK government are planning to simplify their locator form. I'm not sure how true that is, you can't always believe everything you read in the papers. There are lots of places here in Benidorm to help you with the UK locator form. If you get stuck, round town travel for example, do it for a small fee. Or there's a great little bar in the old town, the Hilton Sports Bar which have featured on a couple of our videos and the lovely couple there, Paul and Diane, will do the locator form for you whilst you have a pint on their sunny terrace. You can't ask for more than that, can you? They've really put themselves on the map with this service and have already helped hundreds of travellers, so I wish them the best of success. If you are stuck with the UK locator form, Call in for a drink at the Hilton and Paul and Diane will be happy to help. The Covid pass is also still in play for entry to bars and restaurants here in the Valencia region at the moment. This is in force until the end of February but it's looking very likely that after that from the 1st of March it will no longer be needed. The head of the Valencia government, Chimo Puig, stated this weekend that he does not believe it will be necessary any more after this month. More good news. We'll do an update video when we have that confirmed closer to the end of the month. That's about it from me today. We've got some great videos coming up about the hotels opening and opening dates and some of the big bars which have reopened this week.
So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any and click on that bell so you receive a notification as soon as we release a new video. Thanks for watching guys, leave us a comment and check us out on our other social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok at The Benny Dorm Enthusiast. Stay positive and stay safe.